All right, something a little different here today. I haven't put up a video in a while, and uh, something happened last night, and I figured maybe I'll film it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can do about it this morning. It's just Saturday morning. But last night, I uh, I mowed the grass, and you can't tell because it's so short in some spots, but uh, only half the, half the yard is done uh, because uh, I was... I was mowing it, no problems, and then uh, I thought I was low on fuel, so I drove it over and uh, brought it over here in front of the garage to fill it up with fuel. And uh, I filled it up with fuel and wasn't able to start it after I filled it. So I, like I said, I drove up here, parked it, and it was running fine. And uh, now. I, uh, or last night, I, I couldn't start it, and uh, I even put the starter fluid and stuff like that, and I noticed when I was trying to start it, it was spinning kind of fast, and uh, I even tried to turn it, right, this is, a, this is an 11 horse, it's 40 years old, and uh, I'm able to spin it with my, my fingertips, you know, so there's there's no compression. And then I, uh, I figured, well, maybe it's not getting fuel or something, you know, so I sprayed some carb uh, stuff down there, you know, starter fluid, and uh, it backfired. Backfired a couple times and didn't start a fire, so uh, let me put you on a tripod and we'll show you what it's doing before we take it apart. I didn't, I didn't start taking anything apart. I, I got the carburetor hat off from yesterday and then uh, I just took the hood off, so. Let me put you on a tripod and uh, we'll uh, investigate this together. I'm thinking it might be a sticky valve or I hope or something, but we'll see. Something, Something's not right. All right, be right back. All right, I'll be honest with you. I'm not, uh, I'm not much one for uh, maintaining things. And this, uh, this here, my, my idea of maintaining it is just keeping the wheel in it. It don't blow smoke or nothing. And like I say, it usually ran great. I did uh, do a valve job on it probably two, three years ago, so uh, if it wasn't for Mike, probably none of my stuff would get a wheel or grease, so. All right, let me show you what it's been doing. Let me get this wire out of the way so nobody trips. go like I say it's it spins it spins way too freely for a, an 11 horse and it was backfiring out of there so that tells me it might have something to do with the intake valve all right so let me take this apart and then we'll uh, we'll take a look at it all right yeah we're all unbolted here I didn't take anything off so uh, we'll all see it once you know if uh, it's anything else so like I say Yeah, yeah, I turned these on so you can see in case, just in case, you know, maybe the wire, because I've seen, I've seen like this, this grass here, or hair, I don't know what that was, maybe it's mouth hair, I don't know, and uh, I figured I'd let you see it in case something was uh, chewed up, and it was uh, ignition or something, but, uh, all right, this is all clear, this is, there's no grass down there or anything, so that's, that's a good sign. All right, let's continue on. All right, just about got just unbolted here. So let's take a look at it. You have to tap it. It's ready to fall off. funny, I, uh, I called Mike and I told him what happened and uh, he mentioned that, you know, he says, 
because you might have one of the seats might, might have uh, come out or something like that. I guess it was just a, it was very odd that it happened right after I, I shut it off to uh, to fuel it up. But uh, there you go. There's, there's your problem right there. Well, one good thing is it should be should be an easy fix. Maybe I could just stick that back in there and paint it over and call it good. So let me shut these down and look at it over. Maybe I'll take you off the tripod and you get a better look at it. There you go. Look at it. You got the the valve seat. You know, just flopping around there. So. All right, let's see the valves. Okay, the valve appears to be working. Sorry about that. All right, so let's uh, let's take that out and look it over. I see a little nick here. I might have to uh, clean that up. That's probably from the the seat beating up against that while I was trying to start it. All right. Let me take a, the valve cover off and uh, take that valve out. Alright. Yeah, I didn't want to do it. And uh, I hate to admit it, but I, I did try and uh, put this in here and, and tap it in and seat it. Uh, that way I wouldn't have had to take the carburetor off and, and the valve cover off and all that stuff. But, uh, like I say, we've got a little bit of damage there and uh, there so we're gonna have to clean that up so you know this is uh we call this an emergency field repair it's not like uh, i'm rebuilding this engine and you know my my main goal was to uh, get this thing running again and finish the lawn so uh, that's why we didn't want to do all that we just wanted to take the shortcut so all right let me take the spring off of that it's the one on top take it the uh, spring off and uh, pop this valve out all right you know, I took the carburetor off, and I was going to take the spring off the, the valve and everything like that. And uh, I, I decided, let me let me try and put that valve and turn that valve, or turn the, the flywheel, and put that seat square with the valve. And I did, and then I, I gave the valve a little a little tap with a, with a hammer and a piece of wood, and the seat went right in. So I saved myself a little bit of time there. And uh, the reason I'm doing it like this, like I say, this is a field repair. Right now it's 85 degrees and I'm in the shade. And uh, I got about an hour before I'm in the sun. And then it's going to be uh, noon and it's going to be about 95 degrees. So let's, uh, let's see if we can hit this in a little more. Careful. What I'm doing is, like I said, I got this that's seated nicely now. Now all I gotta do is go around the edge and peen, peen the aluminum over to hold that in. So let me go around and uh, put more more peens in that, and we should be okay. All right. I'm going to shut this down. Alright, yeah, I got that peened over uh, all around there. A lot of guys will put more, some guys will put less, but uh, I'm satisfied that that's going to hold that in place. If not, we'll know and then uh, we'll uh, have to redo the whole thing. Hopefully it gets for the winter, hopefully it gets till, uh, till we die, right? Oh well. Alright, let me start putting this thing back together. It's getting warm out here. All right, yeah, we got everything put together except the I didn't put the shroud on yet, so uh, let's see if this thing's gonna start. with that. 
Uh, yeah, simple fix, but uh, I had to take half the motor apart, so uh, I then put the shroud and the hood back on, and then uh, we'll take it for a test run. All right. I hope that might help one of you guys out someday, but uh, uh, let's see. I don't know if it's uh, how our buddy Tyrell would have done it, but uh, at least uh, I should be able to finish the other half of the lawn. All right, let's give it a try.